So here's your throttle body. This guy right here. This is your throttle body. You have a, mo uh, a motor here that opens the throttle plate. That's just a spring mechanism to bring it back. Yeah. And this one right here, the black one. There you go. That's the throttle position sensor. Yeah. So this is the plug. I'm gonna go ahead and just gonna to here. Push the front part of it down and pull out. Out it goes. See, normally I'm all for shortcuts and I would try to remove this plug from here, but look at it. That needs a pentalobe screwdriver. So, focus. There you go. And plus, that one's hidden in there pretty well. I can't, I don't really have a direct line to the other side of it. I'm going to mark. Uh, spots on the on both of them actually I can do that outside the engine that's not a very big deal but I have a sharpie here and that's what I'm going to use to make sure I align the replacement as uh, as close as I can to the original so for now I'm going to remove the throttle body from here I have uh, those bolts that look like eight millimeter and so I have to take it from both the front and the back and before we really get into that, I need to remove this, the intake tube. So I'll remove the intake tube, and I can see this clip here. Or rather, oh, look at that. It's actually loose. I don't know if that's got something to do with this code I've been getting. Well, don't you look at that. Okay, after wrestling with the intake tube for a while, it's out. And now this uses uh, five, no, eight millimeter. There you go. Uh, these four uh, throttle body bolts are eight millimeter heads, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if you see the other one. There you go. I am glad I removed the tube, and I'll try to access that the best way I can. So, oh, there's another plug there. Just remember to disconnect that. So right here. Oh, it just pulls. And those are the four, four bolts uh, securing the throttle body onto the intake tube. And the throttle body is removable now. But you want to be careful about it. One, there's a gasket here. It's a metal gasket, so... Be careful about it. Pull it out, don't crush it. I don't have a replacement. There you go. There's, there's the gasket. Um, so, gunky side out. I'll just place it there. Remember not to crush it. Another thing, another obstacle is, oh my goodness, that's dirty in there. Let me get the flashlight. Another obstacle is this right here you have coolant tubes running through the throttle body so ideally I would pull the throttle body and go work on it in the house but not with this going on I look, look at that fastener how, how do you even deal with that I could cut it off and there you go I could cut it off and put a regular fastener there but I'd rather not it's really dirty in there and that's what I'm trying to show here Throttle buddy needs, look at that, all black. So I'll probably get a throttle body cleaner just to wipe it off, but for now, I've moved it enough to be able to get to these fasteners. So this is where I get the Sharpie. Oh, nice marking, I like how they mark that. You can see a white dot coming from the, uh, screw onto the TPS sensor and onto the throttle body the three white marks just to show how they align so I'll just use a sharpie to just draw the outline and I'll hope that the other one kind of follows the same path anyways to try and work around these special screws there you go focus but I went to one time tested method vice grips and just Gripped on that, twisted them, and sorry, there you go. Grabbed on it and just twisted that. 
And what I'm going to do at the end is um, I'm going to get normal normal fasteners. I do look at that. It's just a normal. I can get a replacement for that pretty easy. I, you know, I'm just not wanting to deal with that. I couldn't find it in any of the stores that I called. Other than that, I don't know how you get that. And hopefully it's not a job that you do often enough that you have to buy tools for. It's just, just as cheap to grab your vice grips and or pliers and do it. I don't think they were on there very tight, but I didn't really gauge that well. So yeah, you can do the same on the other side. And again, it's a bad, um, it's a little tougher if you try to do this while the thing is still on the car. Uh, yeah, it gives you some leverage, but the thing is you cannot access the bottom one, this one right here. Okay, so let me get that going and let's start to make this work. Oh, this is a new one, actually. And these are the screws I'm gonna use, so. Set it in here. Twist it, I can feel it snap back. Look at that. Oh, already snapped. If you let go, it snaps back. So, I'm gonna do that. Screw where it needs to be. And while at it, try my best to align them to the sharpie marks I had. You know? Very savvy, huh? <laughs> This looks good to me, so I'll tighten that. If you try to balance this, honestly, I'm going to fail. So try and put this on there and do all that other jazz while at the same time. Probably won't go too well. So what I'm gonna do is have this gasket sit, sit it through here. Push one bolt through, push another bolt through, and that keeps the gasket aligned. And that's an eight millimeter socket. This point I'll attach this. It's back on. That goes to the throttle position sensor. I'll attach the harness in the back that goes to the step of motor. people so this is kind of part two of the test change the screws there to regular Phillips head screws and that gives me an advantage in that I can remove that with a uh, long screwdriver and I can do the same thing down here just pull on this with you know of course create space and screw that but when you do that you do need magnetic pickup tool so it's worked out for me uh, but it, as I said, it's been a process. I had to do a hard reset. I followed some instructions that said to do it for about five minutes or so, but that did not work for me. I tried it for an hour. That did not work. I had to go and disconnect the negative terminal of the battery for a whole, yeah, a little over 12, 12 hours. I did it overnight. So it seems like the, the replacement uh, throttle position sensor is working for me. Um, and as I said, um, the first time I put it, I... The car just to totally crapped out on me. It did not want to move. Uh, I got the code immediately. I tried to do the same. I put the old one back on. And surprisingly, the old one worked. Uh, immediately I put it back on and I guess it was just programmed for it. So I figured I was about pretty pissed. I wanted to return this one say it was a piece of junk. But I reset the whole thing and I bet right now if I try to put the old one back on it would give me problems but it helped uh, my sharpie markings definitely helped me uh, keep the the sensor aligned properly with uh, with respect to the throttle body 